Okay, here we have a common case about iPhone 10. Uh, actually, it happened uh, in a lot of previous generation before. So after you enter the passcode, it rotate and re-enter the password again. Keep repeating the loop, so unable to enter the iOS at all. So if you try to restore the phone, and um, it will end up unable to activate the iPhone at all. So do not try to restore the phone. So it is a hardware problem. So here I'm gonna show you. So what's wrong with it? So once we turn on the phone, okay, slide up and type the password. And then it will freeze like here. So after a while, it will still repeating the whole process. It will jam like this. This happened a lot in the if the iPhone suffer a heavy drop before. So keep repeating this. Do again. So we see reloading respring again and then keep doing like this you want to back up your data you have to fix this even you try to restore it it's not gonna help you will end up with a division mode you are unable to activate at all so okay let's stop and okay NMC symptom number two it will be like this so if you try to force update it might end up like this let's say your data is still inside it will say sweep up to recover okay so when you sweep up it asks for your password again so no matter the correct password what you type it will after you type it will go to the uh, attempted to recovery the data and then it will look like that so let's say i try so it will be like this and then after it finish it will go back to the same menu again type the password password loop so this is the one of the nfc issue also one of the symptoms this is an iPhone 10. This has happened just because the layer problem. Because the, if the CPU cannot detect the NSA, it can cause release. So let's remove the layer. This is a new. Before we remove the layer, we have to cut the sticker here. Before we proceed, it's better you put a screw So easy to pick it up Turn on Okay, if it's almost ready, you can push to see whether it's ready to pick up or not Push the bow, then you pick up, lift it off, safely put aside, land it gender, and also take off the clip gender. Do not fast, the lower layer is still hot. Okay, so now we look at. So NFC should be in this section, so you can see some broken connection in here. Only NFC can cause a problem like that. Look at the top one. Here should be have a lot of broken glass. Yeah. Because the phone suffered heavy drop before, so it will be cause something like that. Okay. Now if we bring it to under the microscope. Okay. So 
so as you can see a lot of hangs is broken especially in this side this is what we call an FC side this is all ground that should be okay so yeah lucky here is not anything broken so by fixing this area the problem will be gone so we can enter the passcode and pack up the things so this is the top layer board so it's a lot of packs is broken in order the phone to be fully functional, we need to fix it all. We need to do the jumper exactly like that one. But this is all ground, I won't be doing that. So, only this area. So this area, one, two, three. And even from this tree. Okay, so now we look at the schematic and see <laughs> what pin is it. So in this point, you might wonder, what the heck is NFC, okay? NFC is near field communication, so it can save the credit card and the apartment access card into the iPhone and you can use the iPhone as the card to pay the bill or you can open the door, okay? So iPhone can do like that. Second question would be, why when the NFC is broken and you have this kind of problem? Okay, let's put it in this way. This is my own version of the explanation. So, when the CPU didn't get the response from the NFC or slow response, so the, the CPU will think someone might be hacking it. So, I need to prevent any data leaking or to use it to pay the bill. So, you need to shut down by not giving anyone to access the phone. When you put the correct passcode, it will just look back to the front page. So this is why you need to fix this in order to get past it. So let's say if you decided to give up your data, you will risk everything. It still lets you stuck in the activation mode. So because Apple thinks this device is not safe anymore, the chip is being hacked by someone. There's a chance some third party is hacking your device. So that's how they're protected. Apple really put security in highest priority. So this is why your iPhone cannot be accessible. Okay, so start to clean up. Okay, all I need to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven jumper. So all the other other little ones, they are all run. If I proceed, I should do the lower layer first. Can I just check whether the layer is internal problem? Especially that subject.
Okay, so now we already fixed the broken packs, especially the NFC over here, the NFC. And this is the reason it caused after you enter the password, it start in the it keep looping to enter the password. So now, before we install everything back together, since I built this kind of pack, I can put into the layer tester. Okay. So here's the layer tester. Before we put, we need to clean up the lower board too. Okay, so then after we clean the lower board, we can put into the tester. So once I enter the password, it can enter the OLS, it means the NFC packs is the issue. I already fixed it. It should be fine, you know. So you can see it's touchable and we're trying to enter the code. See? Fully so that's the problem. You can see all the data is green and okay. so all we do is we install everything back. We install everything back. Now and start the backup PC, or you can even to back up with this kind of tools. We just plug in the charger port on it. So enter the passcode again. Voila. So here's all the data, and we can already plug in the PC and fix it and pack up. So go to the setting about again. Everything is running, so all the data remains. Zero right here. Fix the NFC area. NFC just now should be in here. In the middle of here. 